what up guys sorry to interrupt real quick we're gonna do a fruit we're giving away free memberships to our trading room guys free memberships and it's super easy to get in it it's super easy all you got to do to enter is this follow these steps here we go so we're doing questions of the day on our YouTube channel right in every video from now on now every video we will have a random question about something in this video okay the question will always be in a random area of the video so you gotta go through the video you know I'm trying to make sure you guys are watching the video uh, all you gotta do is find a question then find the answer which is already in the video you're watching so you probably already heard the answer you just gotta pay attention uh, once you hear the question post your answer in the comments and you get a chance to win a free membership in our trading room for free that's a seventy dollar value for free we're giving away everything on every single video we post up so we post out five videos in a week we're giving away five memberships that week the odds are really high of you getting in um, winners will be picked randomly once the video receives at least over 10 likes so you know we don't want to just have a bunch of comments and no likes you guys gotta like the video too so get us over 10 likes once we have over 10 likes and we have people entering with the answers in the comments then we're gonna choose a winner all right and that's basically it good luck uh, whoever the winner is we will send you a message and we will get you set up enjoy the rest of your video guys peace what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Bitcoin daily it's your boy Bitcoin J and I'm back with you today to give you something that is vital to your trading arsenal and yes I am talking about profit taking strategies how to maximize this is how to maximize your profits and this is how you stay successful every trader needs to know how to take profits every trader needs to have a plan to take profits before ever entering into a trade if you find yourself entering trades before you even know where to take profits thinking you're gonna figure it out as you go no you won't figure it out man you need a plan you have to have a plan laid out without a plan you can't be successful that's just how it works in trading that's why most people aren't successful in trading you know what I mean um, so let's jump right into it man so profit taking strategies here we go man this was gonna be I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible Let's go over how to take profits and then I'll jump into uh, BitMEX to show you guys how, how I set them up. So um, let's pretend we have $100 in a position, right? That's, a, that's what our risk is. Um, we get to uh, TP1, which is take profit point one. Um, what I do at take profit point one is I take 25% profit, right? So I have $100 in the position. I hit TP1. I'm taking 25%. So I'm taking $25 profit, right? Then, hold on, let me switch this song real quick. Need something that, uh, there we go. So I'm gonna take $25 profit, guys. Um, then I'm gonna move, what I do after taking my profit, I'm moving my stop loss to break even for the remainder of the position so for this one it's optional at I went at you know the take profit point one it's optional because sometimes that um, that where you entered is gonna be like support or something like that so um, I do this sometimes sometimes I don't but as a rule of thumb for those beginners that are starting out I would stick to these exact rules until you're you you have you've developed you know a strategy your own twist to the strategy all right just to be safe guys um tp2 guess what i'm taking another 25 percent of profit off the table so now that means i'm taking 25 dollars off i'm taking profit i'm selling 25 dollars so i have 50 dollars that i've already taken out and i have 50 dollars remaining in the position now this time what i'm doing with my trust stop i'm moving it up to the previous target okay so now I have my $50 that I have remaining in my position I'm moving it up to target uh, take profit point one okay so now if the price after it hits TP2 if it drops back down to TP1 I'm exiting the 
the rest of my position because I don't want to hold it if it goes all the way back to the entry. Um, all right, does that make sense? All right, now TP3. We've reached TP3. A anyone who's traded with me before, they know that I, I always have three target uh, points, right? Two, three uh, take profit points. So <clears throat> this is where some people get, get a little confused and I'm gonna explain what it is I do and why I do it. So uh, target at take profit three, we're taking another 25% profit. So we're taking $25 more off the table, right? So now what have we done? We've, we've taken um, $75 of our position and profit and we're leaving the remaining 25 to continue, right? So now, what do I do with the trust stop? I do the same thing. I get my trust stop, I move it up to the previous target, previous take profit point, boom. Just in case it hits TP3 and it bounces back, I, I wanna exit the remainder of my 25% position here. Um, if it if it doesn't then we're still in the position but I give myself that much room if it bounces back a lot of times it'll bounce all the way back to the entry I want to get out before that happens so I'm, I'm uh, taking profit here my the remaining position I'm putting it at TP2 right all right so this is so now everybody's always asking okay like what do we do now with the rest of the 25% that we still holding in position guys this is called the runner strategy okay the that last 25% is your runner that's what you're leaving in case this is a moonshot in case it takes off okay if it takes off you want to have at least a little bit of skin left in the game so that you also take bring in those profits so what you do you leave a small portion of your position remaining in the trade in case of a moonshot right so here we go. At this point, you should hold the a remaining 25% of your initial position if, as you've taken profit on 75% of your entry. Here, you can let it ride for as long as possible as you slowly trail it with your trust stop. This is called the runner strategy. Guys, this is what I do on every single trade. This is what I tell all my students, uh, all my members, everyone on my money team to do. This is how we maximize winners and we minimize losers. So what do we do after um, TP3? We're gonna let it ride, right? Um, we're gonna let it ride, and as it just starts taking off, you're gonna move your trust stops up. So if it keeps going, I'm moving my, my trust stop from TP2 to TP3, and if it continues going, I'm gonna just keep trailing it, you know? Uh, you know, the, how much space you give it, it totally depends on the situation, there's no, no blank blanket answer for that you know what i mean um it it's all situational you just have to make the best judgment at this point um either way you're in profit you're winning so just just give it whatever you feel comfortable with um sometimes i give it more space sometimes i give it less it depends on the situation like i said everything's situational i wish there was a blanket statement or blanket answer that i could give you guys for this but there really isn't uh, every situation is different in trading. So that's why it's so difficult to be black and white when it comes to trading. Um, I do try to make it as simple as possible for you guys uh, and as black and white as possible, but trading is anything but black and white, okay? Um, so let's let's jump into, um, let me get this out the way. Let's jump into BitMEX, all right? Let me see, make sure we're up, boom! Breaking news, question of the day. Let's go, real quick. What is the strategy called when you leave the final 25% of your position after you have taken profits on R3 targets? Real quick, this is all you gotta do is go through this video. The answer is in this video. Drop it in the comments, drop a like, make sure you're subscribed. If not, you're not, you're not gonna get nothing if you ain't subscribed, you know what I mean? That's it, that's it guys, peace. Sure we're up and running over here okay yeah we're good all right so on um, bitmex so you see here we have four contracts right so that's four different exits that we can set up so let's say uh, 12,400 right was 
or is my my you know first exit or whatever my first take profit so I'm gonna put right here 400 I'm gonna set up a um, a sell point here uh, so I'm gonna just sell one contract here right 12,400 just hit sell boom contract 12,400 it's set up that's my first take profit right so now my second take profit is gonna be 12,500 right so I'm gonna sell what I'm that's 25% now I'm gonna sell the, the next 25% I'm gonna set it up already you can just set it up at a, as a limit order sell at 12,500 right so now that's two orders see if you look here there are two active orders now we don't need the stop market or stop um, if you want to set it as a market order you could do use a stop market but we don't really need stops for this since we're we're setting prices where where the price isn't at yet so we could just set as limit orders um, now the, the next target let's say 2550 right so I'm gonna do the same thing. The 20, another 25%. I'm gonna sell. Boom. So now we have an order for 20, 12,400, 12,500, 12,550. That's 75 percent of my position. Now what am I doing with the, with the rest, the remaining one contract? I'm just holding that, and I'm gonna just keep trailing every time. You know, I'm gonna trail, trail, trail. Um, and if at any point this this bounces back I'm gonna sell and I'm gonna get out with profits if it continues going up then I'm gonna just continue trailing with it with that final position and with the remaining positions that I'm holding and that's basically it man um, when you do when you are hitting the position so when you are hitting the TP the take profit sections uh, you do have to set up stops for in for the remainder of your position um, so you can do that you know setting a stop market or stop limit so you so for for those for stop limits you, you do have to set those you do have to use the stop orders for those other than that you can just use limit orders um, and that's basically it man it's pretty simple especially on bitmex on bitmex you can literally like if I'm trailing this I could literally grab this and be like all right it's not bouncing back down this way so I could move it up and you just do it like that boom order amended you see how easy that was I could I can move this this order wherever I want and it'll sell wherever I want you know what I mean very very easy order amended again so it's pretty easy to move around pretty easy to set up guys this is a very very important tactic that is overlooked all the time um, because people, well, the people just don't don't plan their their trades, so they figure, you know, I'll 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 know when to sell. And the thing is, when you're in the moment, it's hard to sell because greed takes over. Greed is a very powerful emotion. When you see all that money, you're like, no, I'm, I just I want to let it keep going. And you can't. If you let it go like that, then you know what I mean. It's it's never gonna work out in the long run. Like you could get lucky one day, but for the long run, it's not gonna work out. You know what I mean? See, I just amended my order again. Um, in the long run, it's just not gonna work out. You, you won't, you won't last. You know what I mean? Cause it's gonna bite you too many times. It's gonna bite you in the ass too many times. Trust me, it's happened to me. I had to learn. I learned many valuable lessons. I lost a lot of money cause I wouldn't take profit. I wouldn't plan my my uh, profit points ahead of time. So guys, this is definitely a great tool to learn, a great technique and strategy to you know put into your arsenal and to into every single trade plan when you're creating your trade plan um, if you guys have any questions drop it in the comments leave a like please uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us um, we have many more videos coming man we're just getting started 2020 2021 we're gonna definitely take over we're gonna hit you guys with a lot of valuable information and best part is it's all free guys we're not selling it in courses right now we're just we were setting up this course to to um to sell it and we decided you know what let's just give it all all this value out for free for you guys um so that's basically it guys uh follow us on bitcoin.daily on instagram and uh we're gonna be live streaming um tonight by the time you guys watch this it'll be tonight
Uh, but yeah, we're streaming a few times a week, guys. Uh, that's basically it. I have to like sneeze or something, but uh, it's it's just you know when your nose is just itchy. Woo! Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna sign off before I sneeze on you guys and on this camera and on everything here. And I sell all my contracts for negative money by mistake, even though this is fake money. I'm gonna go bankrupt because my nose is just itching. Uh, but alright, guys, to the next one. Peace.